guys, today I wanted to share with you a haul that I did from My Favorite Things. This is one of my favorite stamp companies and die companies to order from. I placed two separate orders. One was a Halloween clearance sale that they were having, and another one was while I was in New York. I believe it was in, uh, I want to say, August time frame possibly, or beginning of September where they had a 20% off. So I did do two separate hauls. I'm going to combine, combine them here in one video. We'll start with the Halloween stuff first. The first set I purchased was the Which Way Candy set. Oh my God, this set is so adorable. I love it. I totally fell in love with this little kitty cat and this super cute smiling bat. I thought he was adorable. And I also like the witch in this collection. The pumpkins, the frog, I mean the whole collection just called to me. It's so cute. And I love the sayings, I'm under your spell, a Halloween hello. And this one here says, I'm bats about you. And then we have this one that says, which way is the candy, which is really, really cute. I'm so glad that I picked up this set. And I also purchased the coordinating dies. I do a lot of stamping and die cutting in my project life. So I figured this would make my life easier. And since they were on clearance, it didn't make sense not to grab them. So I did. Now the next set that I picked up was trick or treat. And I love this stamp set. I contemplated maybe not getting this one and I'm glad that I did. Look at the size comparison on these stamp sets. This stamp set on the left, the Trick or Treat, is huge. I can't believe how giant it is. And I am so happy with it and I'm so glad that I decided to get it. I got it specifically for this stamp right here that says Trick or Treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. That is adorable. I love this spider web. I love this little cauldron here and the graveyard. I mean, it's just such a great, great stamp set. I also like this stamp that says Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> really, really cute. Now, unfortunately, I did not get the matching dies for these, which I'm kind of upset with myself about. I think I had them in my cart and I must have removed them somehow because they did not come with the order. And I did check my invoice and I did not order them. So it's not a mistake on, on uh, MFT. And it was a little upsetting because they were on clearance, so I will have to pay full price now, but that's okay, not a problem. <laughs> my own fault. Okay, and the next and last Halloween item that I got is this die here. It is called the Drippy Goo Edge. And it is really cute. It looks like dripping goo. Now for a lot of you that have been in scrapbooking for a long time, you'll know that Martha Stewart had a punch that was drippy goo. And it is right here. Sorry, it's a little hard to see with my lights, but it is hard to find. It's discontinued. And when you do find it, it's very expensive. Like for instance, if you see it on eBay, you can pay quite a pretty penny for it. A lot of people love this punch and for those of you that were not able to get it this is a great alternative and it is MFT's version and I love it and I'm so glad that I grabbed it. So that was everything in my Halloween haul. We'll move on to my next haul which was the 20% off. The first thing I got were these dies here. I've been contemplating the stack dies for so long and I finally got them and I'm so excited. I want to incorporate some more layers into my project life and I think this is a great way to do it. This one here is the pierced squares and I'm going to flip it over so you can see the piercing. See the little tiny dots that make the piercing? Love that. Now I do not have a stitch square. I'm not sure if they don't make one or if I forgot to order it, but I'm sure if I forgot, I will add it. And if they don't make it, hopefully uh, someone from My Favorite Things will see this haul video. Please make a stitched one. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was the rect rectangle uh, pierced. And these are really, really cool. And you can see the piercing down at the bottom on these as well. And they do have a stitched rectangle, but it was sold out, so I will have to wait on that one. And then this here is a pierced circle. You can see the piercings there. Really nice quality. And I did get the stitched circle, which is a little different and looks like stitching. So I'm really thrilled. I also love this magnetic sheet that the dies in different companies have been coming with. 
out with. I need to do this because I currently store my dyes in these little envelopes like this. And this is a My Favorite Things Dynamics Sentiments Strips. And if you can see, they're loose in there. Now they do not fall out because the pocket is very secure in the back, but I would love to have this magnetic paper. So I'm gonna have to look into that. So this way I can store my dies better. So I love those. Okay, uh, the last die that I got was the freebie. It's the envelope die. I really love this. This is not a die that I would normally have purchased on my own. And I think I could utilize it for project life, for little uh, memorabilia, maybe even business cards or something like that to store and make little cute envelopes for. So I am going to definitely use this and glad that they included that for free. Then I picked up another Alamode stamp. I collect these. This one here is an apple for teacher. Really, really cute. I do not have this one and I have most of them. Um, I have not done my September Project Life pages yet and I have a lot of pictures of my grandkids um, in their first day of school pictures. So this is gonna come in very handy. Okay, and then the last thing I'm really excited about, it is the 100 pound heavyweight cardstock sampler. I mean, this thing is huge and comes with a lot of paper, a lot more than I thought it did. And I am so excited about that. It comes in all the different colors that are um, exclusive to my favorite things. And for some of you that saw my uh, stamp pad haul, I got a lot of the my favorite things hybrid inks and I'm hoping that these colors coordinate back. I'm not 100% sure, but let's just check. This one here is Lemon Drop, and yes, there is a Lemon Drop in the set, so that is really exciting, and as you can see, these are still in the plastic because I have not even had a chance to open them up. Um, I had just uh, was leaving for vacation when I got them, so I'm really excited about that. So I have my new inks and now I have the coordinating cardstock to go along as well. So that is great guys. My suggestion with my favorite things is definitely wait for a sale. Um, definitely uh, sign up for their newsletter because that's the only way I know that there's a sale that's happening. Uh, you get that email and you rush over there and you can get really great deals. Otherwise, you're going to end up paying full price. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Bye.